Plum pops on werewolves, you just can't get bitten. Teapots and clutter on counters, I'm smitten. So many plant options, where to begin? These are a few of my favorite things. Sorry for the extra intro, but it's September, babes. I'm drinking a pumpkin oat milk latte, okay? Spooky season has started officially now in my life, so, you know, happy spooky season. May all your spookiest dreams come true. Wait. I'm gonna show you some of the best items in The Sims 4, in my opinion, and we're gonna build a house full of all of my favorite things. Here is the base we're gonna be using for this build. I got a little carried away prepping for this video. Um, So there's a waterfall and like a river. I don't know. I really love water features and builds in The Sims 4, so here's one. But there's one funny thing before we get into this that I gotta st <laughs> that I have to state. There's bubbles everywhere because they're kind of stuck. The bubble grate, which is one of my favorite items, from get together is sunken way down here under layers of debug discovery university waterfalls so bubbles the bubbles are staying we've got the river going along the back here i also built this shell so we'll be doing the exterior of this challenge as well this over here is going to be a small like greenhouse or tool shed or something's going to be in there i don't know what yet but let's get started the first thing we're going to be doing is putting wallpaper on here windows i'm going to show you all my favorites for that for wallpaper for exteriors the first thing that comes to my mind are these spa day ones. Just for siding, I personally love these, especially the white swatch. I don't know, it looks so clean to me. So I'm gonna use that as my base. Like all of my other videos, I'm also gonna be mentioning like where I get these items, like which packs they're in. I wanna give those bump outs a little something extra. So cottage living brick for me has been a favorite recently. I think this one's really cute, but if we do that, we're gonna have to change our foundation. And for roof trim, I find myself using this one a lot here, this base game one. Another favorite I have also in base game is this one here and I like to use the black swatch. I use this one quite often. Let's put that one on our shed. Okay, windows and doors. This is going to be tricky to choose just a few of these. My initial thought is these ones here from Moschino. For a long time, these were like the best in the game and you could not change my mind. So maybe we could open up the front here with that. It would be nice to look out your window and see the waterfall. <laughs> Other honorable mentions here. These windows have my heart from Cottage Living. I normally like to like place a few of them beside each other or stack them somehow. I'm finding so many that I love. Okay, we're gonna narrow it down, all right? Snowy escape windows, all of them, top tier. This base game one, which we got in an update like months ago now, big fan, which actually those look quite nice with my mosquito there. And obviously fan favorite. These ones here, you gotta have them. There's also the alternative from Eco Lifestyle, which I tend to use more often just cause it's like right there in the menu. One final option for windows, these ones also from Cottage Living. All right, no more windows. Windows. I'm getting carried away. There's too many <laughs> already, but it's fine. I gotta show them all. Okay, doors. Any of these here from Cottage Living are so cute. I also love this one for like barn doors, which I do need. Maybe we'll use this Cottage Living one over here. Ooh, this is a favorite. This is from the Industrial Loft kit. This one too, also from that kit. This one from Eco Lifestyle, also pretty nice. But I'm looking for one currently without too many windows because I went a little overboard again. You know what? I am gonna use Cottage Living doors down here as well, just so that I can match my windows up top. My wall height is smaller today, so I don't have access to like the medium height doors. But if I did, honorable mentions are going to be this one from Cottage Living, are we sensing a pattern? This one from My Wedding Stories, nice, nice door. And these ones from Strangerville, also honorable mentions. For outdoor flooring, I use this one here from Jungle Adventure quite often, but they also added this new base game one, which is like an antique flooring that I really like. We're gonna scurry on over here so I can show you guys some of my favorite like outdoor items before we go inside. Starting off with the one and only barrel. Yes, I do have my favorite item listed as a barrel. <laughs> Those are from my wedding stories, also from that pack. I almost always will put this lantern on top because I think it looks really cute. I'll put them on the ground. And these here, these loungers are some of my faves. I love the swatches that they come in. I think they're really pretty. So we'll do a couple loungers there. I do want to get an umbrella. Honestly, this one from Seasons and this one from Get Together are pretty close in favorites. We'll get the eco lifestyle drink tray going out here. Water balloon bucket, it's a good time. Gameplay included. We're gonna add this fire pit here from the little campers kit. Oh my gosh, with these chairs, these are also from the little campers kit. They have dogs on them and frogs and pigs. It does not get better. I also love a good stump. If I had the room for it, I would probably be adding this projector screen also from the little campers kit. I mean, we could put it. I just don't really wanna cover those windows there. In the back here, I'm putting a floral arranging table from Seasons. I think I'm gonna put 
the bee box somewhere too. Maybe I could add it over here onto this ledge instead. And I'm currently trying to fit a pergola somewhere into here, but I'm not having a whole lot of room for it. I was thinking about just putting it like over here and putting like a cute picnic table underneath. That one is from Snowy Escape. Final thing I'm gonna add here before doing the rest of the landscaping and going inside, there's these here from City Living. They're called Blooming Lights and they literally like float on the water. So when you go into live mode, it just looks so pretty. We're definitely putting those. Maybe we'll just do like a couple around the rock like that. Then at nighttime, look how pretty they look. The fishies over here too from the lily pads. Love it, so cute. So this is our build in live mode all finished for the exterior. I think next we're gonna go into this shed and do like a skill room or something, but this is what it's looking like. Those freaking bubbles. I mean, the more I see them, the more I don't hate them. I did some quick landscaping around our main house and we are gonna start over here in this little shed. I think in here, I just wanna put like some of my favorite skill items and we'll turn it into a room that way. This is gonna be kind of hard. I'm a big fan of like a few different items here. This chess table being one of them from Outdoor Retreat. But I also love these little meditation pillows. We can make this into a meditation room. That would be really cute actually. I'm gonna hold on to that idea with like the yoga mats maybe. This telescope has quickly gone up there from werewolves. Obviously we're not gonna put that inside, but you know. I pretty much always have an easel of some kind in my build. So we should probably put that in here. And I'm a big fan of like music items and stuff like that too. But we can save that for inside maybe. Or we just turn this into a straight up like creativity meditation room. They could have it as part of their process. They gotta meditate before they make any music or art or anything. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna have our meditation poofs there. I'm using this rug underneath from Paranormal. I'm gonna hang some of these fairy lights here from the little campers kit. It's honestly surprising me how many items from that kit I've been using. It's actually quite funny because the last really nice fairy lights, other than the ones that we have with like the holiday pack, were actually in the toddler pack. Like these were the ones that you had to use if you wanted fairy lights for so long. Other than of course, like these ones. Moral of the story, if you want fairy lights, you gotta get a kid kit. Should we start now on the plant category? <laughs> There's a lot of them. This one from Cottage Living, probably at least used once in every build. Literally anything from the Blooming Rooms kit you could probably toss into this video. I'm gonna toss more just like decorative pillows around this area for extra coziness. These we can toss in there from the Blooming Rooms kit. We've got our guitars in there and we're gonna add a hanging plant also from the Blooming Rooms kit. If you're new here, I'm a big plant fan, all right? We're gonna see a lot of plants. Finally, for this area, I'm also gonna be including these little lights here. These are from Dine Out and I'm just gonna place them like around the area. And there's that area looking cute there. We're gonna turn around and do the other side. Maybe on this side, we can actually use a yoga mat. We can do some yoga in this room. There's a lot of skill items actually to do in here. So I'm gonna leave that area pretty open so that we can do both of those things. Maybe we'll just add another hanging plant right there with these paintings here from Eco Lifestyle. Cute. Okay, I think we're gonna move out of this room. The meditation music painting yoga room is complete. Take a sip of my pumpkin coffee and let's figure out a floor plan for this. First thing I did is add my stairs. I think that's gonna be a decent layout for up here. We're maybe only gonna be able to fit like a few bedrooms upstairs, like one or two maximum. Unless we shift those all the way over and then completely block this room off, then we can open it up with like an archway and this can be a more private like reading nook. This person that lives here clearly loves to be like zen and relaxed. So I think that would be cute there. We can get away with a bathroom right here. The big bathroom. Maybe we can do laundry in there too. Yeah, we'll do two bedrooms up here because I do want to do a kid's bedroom. There's a lot of kid-friendly items here. I'm using these doors from Strangerville, but another one that I love are these from Dream Home Decorator for more of like a modern look. I'm playing around with a lot of diagonal walls today, which I know is gonna bite me. <laughs> like, I'm just asking for problems at this point, but let's start off doing our living room here. Okay, for indoor flooring, my favorite hardwood is this one from Cottage Living, this one from Eco Lifestyle, and this one here from Base Game. I'm gonna try the Base Game one for now for our main room. For wallpaper downstairs, this is gonna be a very cozy, like family home sort of thing. So I'm tempted to use this. This is also from Cottage Living. <gasps> Couch faves, we got this one from Paranormal. This is probably like it for me. Like that's probably my favorite for sure. But then there's also this one from Cottage Living, which comes in some really pretty swatches. Like I love that. And we can't forget about the Dream Home Decorator sectionals, which I don't think I'm feeling for this build, but big, big honorable mention. I do wanna put a fireplace in here, which I love these ones from Snowy Escape and eco lifestyle, like the smaller ones are really cute. This one from Parenthood is probably like an OG favorite. Let's use that one, I guess. I'm staying away from doing debug objects because I feel like that could be a whole other video, but this from Eco Lifestyle, this TV, definitely up there. 
picture. I'm just gonna use one of these ones for now though. We're gonna add a picture here on the stairs from Paranormal, mainly for the frame. <laughs> this mirror needs to go somewhere. I'm thinking maybe I can put that right here. Then we can put like a hall table underneath. I love this one here from Eco Lifestyle a lot. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Or if we want something a little taller, this one from Dream Home Decorator will also be good. Speaking of Dream Home Decorator though, pretty much every clutter item from this pack is probably gonna make it into this video. I love the shoe clutter. Even at the front door, I feel like it makes it look more lived in. Honestly, I think I love all of these items for that reason. One thing about my builds is I love it when it looks like someone's been living here for a little while. We're definitely using this rug here from Snowy Escape. This rug probably makes it at least once into all of my builds. We'll do a little welcome mat there from base game. And then over here, I'm thinking about using one of these items here from high school years. There's a rack in there for clothes that we could hang up. There's also this one, which I think is really pretty and maybe more our style here. I'm gonna shrink this basket here from Cottage Living and put that down there. This is actually gonna be perfect because if I do plan on putting a laundry room in there, our laundry is gonna be nice and close. And other things just to show more clutter options, I've got this hand here from Paranormal and this little guy from Dream Home Decorator. For the rug option we're gonna use, this is from the Industrial Loft Kit. We're gonna use this poof here from Snowy Escape. Got some book clutter from high school years and base game over here. In this room over here, I'm using this chair from high school years. We're gonna get a bookshelf. I think my favorite one to use is actually from Moschino. Like this one here, I find myself using all the time. And this is a pretty small room, so I'm gonna try and be careful. We're gonna get a plant back there. That one is another OG favorite from Dine Out. Oh, and I don't think we've used one of my absolute favorite ones yet. This one from Paranormal, another hanging plant. They're just so easy to like put in small spaces, you know? We're gonna use this circle rug here from high school years. And I don't think I'm gonna put too much else in here. Maybe I could do like another chair in this corner. This one from high school years matches. So I'm just gonna put that over in the corner. That covers our cute little reading room. And then over here, I do have like this nook in the corner, which I don't wanna cover up those windows, but I'm thinking about putting a desk right there. You know what? I'll sacrifice a window for a desk. Oh, not two though. We're not going that committed. Chairs, we're gonna go this one from Dream Home Decorator. This computer here is my go-to. That one is from City Living. And then above there, normally I'll put like a cork board from base game. These are pretty popular in my builds too. These are from Tiny Living and they come in different swatches. So it makes it easy to like mix and match with them. There, that looks cute back there. Okay, so we're gonna move out of this area and into the kitchen here, which I'm tempted to do a brick wall. I'm using the same cottage living one that's behind it, like the one that we used on the outside. All right, kitchen favorites. For fridge options, I'm a big fan of like the retro. So this one from Cottage Living is a big hit for me. Also this one from the Country Kitchen Kit. I think the swatches in this one are really pretty and it just looks so like sleek and clean. This one is another OG favorite from Jungle Adventure, but the swatches in here I used to love. I just think there's better swatches out there now. But you know what? For old time's sake, let's use this one today. Counter options, we're going either Dream Home Decorator, Cottage Living, or the Country Kitchen Kit with honorable mentions being this one here from Snowy Escape with all those like counter clutter options. Spa Day's got another more modern looking one. I kind of feel like Snowy Escape would look good in that little corner there. So we're gonna go with that. We'll do sink right under the window. I always use that one from Cool Kitchen. My oven can go over on this side, which I'm actually gonna use a Snowy Escape one there too because it doesn't have that back like lip there like some of the other ones do. This is my new favorite trash can. Although I do feel weird putting it in my kitchen a little bit. So I'm probably gonna use this one. That one's from Get Together. Then for clutter in the kitchen, we have a whole lot of favorites we can choose from. This lemon thing from Backyard Stuff. These plates from Snowy Escape I use quite often. Then we've got this cute stuff from Cottage Living. There's a lot of like kitchen clutter in here, pots and stuff. I think I did this about a year ago because I remember my obsession with these cookbooks. Literally every single build I used to do would have cookbooks raised up on top of the fridge. So you know what? They're gonna make an appearance today. Those are from Cool Kitchen Stuff. Along with these, I love putting those as wall decor there. We also have the cutting board, which we can't forget to add. For dining tables, I had a really hard time figuring out which one I wanted to use. So I used both. We're gonna have a smaller little like breakfast table in here. I think it's only gonna be two people who live here, maybe like a single parent and a kid. So then they could have breakfast there together if they want to. But if we're having the family over, then we've got this over here. Bigger table. I don't know. I've seen this in a few houses before. <laughs> Not mine. I'm lucky enough to have just bought my first dining table, friends. Okay, so kitchen looking cute. I might add some curtains, but I do like the open concept there. But if I were to add some, just for the sake of this video, it would definitely be these My Wedding Stories ones. I'm obsessed with these. Maybe paranormal, depending on what kind of look we're going for here. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it open because those windows and that view are just way too worth it to leave. I think we're gonna 
be able to make our way over into the bathroom next. And in the bathroom, the flooring option, if you watch my videos, you know exactly what it's gonna be. It's this one from Spot A. I very rarely use any other ones other than these. Wallpaper, other options could be like these here from Spot A as well. Sometimes I'll go for like a paint depending on the build. This one here from My Wedding Stories is really pretty. Or these here from the Oasis Courtyard kit. I think today though, we're gonna use this one here. This is from Eco Lifestyle. Do I have favorite bathroom essentials? Do I have a favorite toilet? For some reason, I really like this one from Tiny Living. I don't know why. Like there's really no difference between like these base game ones. Like it doesn't matter. It's a toilet. <laughs> I'm a big fan of bathtubs, pretty much all of them. Dream Home Decorator has some really pretty ones, but then I also like the more classic looking ones like that one there from Cottage Living. This is a very like Cottage Living house, so I'm gonna go pink tub. I did say we were gonna do laundry, so I'm gonna put laundry over in that corner there. We'll add another hamper, we'll get some laundry day stuff. We can get my toilet facing this way. And then for sinks, bathroom stuff is kind of weird because it does depend on the house. Like we could go with this one here from Cottage Living. I also really like this one from Dream Home Decorator, but then there's some fun ones from Get Famous, like that more mid-century look. I think I'm gonna keep it cohesive though and use that one there from Cottage Living. For mirrors, this one has my heart. I use it for decorative purposes. I use it in bathrooms, wherever. This is definitely one of my faves. Also really good for gallery walls. This robe also always on the back of the door. And this here from Tiny Living is a really cute bathroom shelf. We can actually use curtains in this room. We're gonna use those ones there from Paranormal and I'm just gonna add a couple more plants or something near here. Maybe this wall one right underneath there looks cute. Oh, I forgot about all of this country kitchen clutter. Dang it. I can never have enough. Yeah, there are definitely gonna be things that I forget, by the way. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time and you notice that I haven't added certain things that I use often, um, let me know. <laughs> I have done this before and it is fun to do it every once in a while because first of all, my style changes like the weather. And second, we obviously get new packs and new items to explore. So I kind of want to go back now and watch my old favorites video <laughs> just to see. All right, our bathroom slash laundry room is looking cute. There's lots of stuff in here, lots of faves. I think we're ready to go upstairs. So we're gonna bring the wood up there and the wallpaper that I used. Maybe we can use Dream Home Decorator because these are gonna fit right into that little nook there. Actually, I did wanna use this chest table here. This one from Outdoor Retreat, this is totally a hidden gem. We're gonna use that. May as well complete the look by using these here from Outdoor Retreat. I might add a bookshelf over here too, just because it'll fit like the area. I do also like this one here from Realm of Magic. This base game lamp in the pink swatch is one of my favorites. I don't know why, but I'm gonna put that there and then I feel like I could maybe put like a lounge chair right here if someone wanted to just sit there and read. There's a lot of reading areas. There's a lot of hobbies in this build. I just raved about that lamp and now I'm ditching it and we're gonna put up this cute little picture here from Realm of Magic. This is a really awkward area up here. So I'm just putting this little table there from Eco Lifestyle, the Jungle Adventure Mirror. This is a classic fave in the community. And maybe on top of there, I'll just put this plant here from Paranormal. So there's our hallway decor. We're gonna move on and do, I think this first bedroom here, this is gonna be a kid's room slash teen room. It's a little smaller than I would like, but I do wanna use some of the teen stuff because you guys know I've been loving the build items in this pack. This being one of my favorite new ones, I actually have been using this for like backgrounds in my videos. I think this wallpaper is really pretty. I also have so many favorite beds now. It's gonna be hard to pick one. I love this one here from Dream Home Decorator. This one from Dream Home Decorator is also really good. We have some more OG classic ones like this here from Seasons. And the bunk beds, like the bunk bed options from Dream Home Decorator are so good. Maybe we'll use a bunk bed today. But then came along high school years and I feel like some of these now are just too good to pass up. Like I love these. This one's really cute too. Or that one for more of an art deco look. I don't know, there's a lot that I like now. Which is funny because I feel like for a long time I went through this phase where I didn't like any of the beds in The Sims 4. Ooh wait, that matches perfectly. Those are two different packs there too. That's rare in this game. Okay, we're definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna underneath maybe add like a computer or a laptop. I actually am tempted to use one of these here from high school years, the new like streaming setups. Of course, I'm drawn to these. Incoming high school years overload. This is one of the newest packs in the Sims 4 franchise. And let me tell you, I did not expect to love this pack as much as I do. Another new favorite item I've been using a lot from this pack is that mirror. I am obsessed with that mirror to say the least. I've been loving these for curtains as well, which you can actually use over your door 
door and it's functional. I just learned that in my last video. Then we've got like these in here too. I like that because they have like oh, the lily pads from outside. Cute. I'm not going to spend too much time with this high school stuff because I feel like I've made so many videos about it in the past like month or so. I'm a big fan of like vinyl. We collect records in my house a lot. So I love these items. But I'm not really getting the hard rock vibe from this teen room here. So I'm just going to put in a couple more pictures. The clutter from this pack, of course, is really good too. And the rugs here I really like as well. There's some like cute swatches here for this. I think I might use that one in like this room. Maybe. Okay, we need a dresser, which again, high school years changed the game for me. There's so many cute ones like this. This is a new fave too. This is from Werewolves and it just looks like trunks. It's a functioning dresser. This base game one is a good one too, but I think I need something a little smaller today. And when you need a smaller dresser, Tiny Living got you covered. I love using this one in here. We're gonna do beanbag chair there from high school years. One of these little plants from the Blooming Rooms kit and maybe a lava lamp. I'm a big fan of the lava lamp. Okay, so this bedroom looking cute. We've got some favorites going on in here. I think we can move on from here to the final room, which is gonna be our bedroom in here. I think before I pick any wallpaper, I'm gonna go back to the very stressful task of picking a bed. <laughs> and we'll just have to revolve around that. So for double beds, we're again gonna have a lot from high school years. I love that one. This one here. Eco lifestyle has always been a favorite for me. I think it looks so cozy. Dream home decorator, of course. Even snowy escape can be in there sometimes. Or this one. I think I could make that work actually with this rug if it was a little bigger. Okay, and now for wallpaper, I'm tempted to lean into the foresty theme and do an eco lifestyle wood wall. So I think I'm gonna do that there. I'm trying to pick a color from this rug here. I know it's really hard to find green in this game though for some reason. I can never quite find the shade that I want. This is more of like a bluey green than I want, but we're just gonna roll with it. Let's get some end tables. It really bugs me that they still haven't fixed the lighting issue on all of the shelving in Dream Home Decorator. Not that I'm really that surprised at The Sims <laughs> lately, but okay, these are what I wanna use for my end tables. I love the way they look. I hate the lighting compared to like this. Look at the difference. Or even to compare it more similarly, there's this end table put beside this brand new one. I don't know why there's so much shadowing on there. I've been talking about this for literally like a year. <laughs> Maybe if we get some lighting and like face it more towards that, then I can fix it, which this is one of my favorite lighting pieces here from Get to Work. We definitely need the moonlight. This is from Werewolves. I also like to use these jars sometimes for clutter from Journey to Batu. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> Instead of my end table idea, I'm gonna add two chairs there and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put a TV up so that way people could watch TV if they didn't wanna sit in bed for some reason. I want this to be cozy in here. I think I'm even gonna put a fireplace. We're gonna splurge and get the big TV. Oh, and I'm just trying to think of like last minute things that I haven't put in here, like the record player from Get Famous. These vintage glamour mirrors I use a lot. And there's one more thing that I need for my other corner here. I have like this open corner. Oh, what are we gonna put in here? Oh, there's so many I didn't get to use. Like the button basher. I can't just put the button basher in here. I mean, I could, but I won't. Globe bar in the bedroom. I'm doing it. This bedroom actually turned out super cute. It's a little bit busy. The whole house is a little busy, but I wanted to get in as many items as I could into this video. On this side, we've got our poof. We've got some more clutter going on. We have our record player and of course our bar in our bedroom. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found some new items or packs that you didn't know that you like. I think next I have to do items that I hate in a build, right? If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.